Hello friends, welcome to your refresh lesson for October, fruits and veggies all year long. Today we are going to discuss nutrition, seasonality, and Maryland agriculture. Throughout the year, you will be learning about the importance of nutrition and healthy eating. So let's start by asking ourselves, what exactly is healthy eating? Let's use my plate as a resource. Healthy eating includes foods from all five food groups, fruits, vegetables, grains, protein, and dairy. Fruits and vegetables are especially important to have every day. They make up half of our my plate. We will talk a lot about fruits and vegetables this year because they are very important to good health and many people don't eat enough. How do these fruits and vegetables get to our plate? They usually start with a seed that a farmer plants in a farm or a garden and then sun and rainwater help the plants to grow into the fruits and vegetables that we eat. We have all of these things in Maryland, so can we grow all of the fruits and vegetables that we want here? Let's see. Well, fruits and vegetables can be very picky about where they grow and only like certain temperatures or a specific amount of rain, a certain climate. In Maryland, we have four seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter. It can get very hot, very cold, very wet, and very dry. What's it like outside right now? Let's take oranges as an example. Can we grow these in Maryland? What do you think? Oranges grow best in places with warm weather year round, like in Florida or California. They don't like the cold or the snow that we get in the winter. Now wait a minute, you can usually find oranges in the store at any time throughout the year. How do they get there if we can't grow them here? As we mentioned before, oranges and some other fruits and vegetables have specific climates that they like. Hot, cold, wet, or dry. These specific climates can often be in another state or even another country. Then, they travel hundreds or even thousands of miles to get to the grocery store. In Maryland, farmers grow many things in the spring, summer, and fall, but almost nothing in the winter. During this time, we rely on other places to grow these fruits or vegetables, use fruits and vegetables that we've stored, or use greenhouses, which are like protected gardens. So what can we grow in Maryland? Any ideas? Take a look at your What's in Season handout. Do you see any of your guesses on there? You will also see the months when you can buy these fruits and vegetables, whether that is when they are harvested, when they've been stored, or when they've been grown in a greenhouse that provides protection from cold weather. Just like the specific climates that fruits and vegetables prefer, there are specific times of the year that are better to plant and harvest fruits and vegetables than others in Maryland. For example, watermelons like warmer weather, so we plant watermelon in May and harvest it in the summer. Broccoli, on the other hand, likes cooler temperatures and is grown and harvested in the spring and fall. Now that we've seen what fruits and vegetables grow in Maryland, where can we buy them? Farmers markets are a great place to find foods that grow locally, near where we live. Farmers pick and pack up their food and bring it to a location to put them on display and sell, similar to a grocery store. They are freshly grown, extra tasty, and sometimes cheaper. Now let's get to our activity. Use your What's in Season handout to decide if the fruits and vegetables that we show later are grown in Maryland, and if so, in which season they are harvested. Some may have more than one season in which they're harvested. We're going to move around a bit for this activity, so let's get in a quick stretch before we begin. From a standing or seated position, reach up high to the sky, then bend down and touch your toes. One more time, high to the sky, bend down and touch your toes. Now, up high to the sky so you can bend from one side to the other like a tree in the wind. And now arms down and twist from side to side. And then shake it all out. Now that we're all warmed up, let's see how we can show our answers to these questions. For foods that don't grow in Maryland, shake your hips from side to side. For foods that are harvested in Maryland in the spring, pretend like you're splashing in puddles. For foods that are harvested in Maryland in the summer, pretend like you're going swimming. For foods that are harvested in Maryland in the fall, pretend like you are kicking fallen leaves. 
For foods harvested in Maryland in the winter, pretend you are cold. <laughs> Let's get started with cantaloupe. Does this grow in Maryland? And if so, in which season is it harvested? I hope you've got your bathing suit ready because cantaloupe is harvested in Maryland in the summer. How about spinach? It's harvested in the spring and fall. And pineapples? Those don't grow in Maryland. And garlic? It grows in the summer, but we can buy it any time of year because it stores for a long time. Our carrots. They're harvested in the summer and early fall. Bananas, anyone? These don't grow in Maryland. How about our tomatoes? These are harvested in the summer and early fall. In a greenhouse, though, they can grow any time of year. And our last one, pumpkins. These are harvested in the fall. Thanks for playing along. If you want to check out some of these yummy fruits and vegetables, take a trip to your local farmer's market. Not sure where that is? Check it out here. In the search bar, select your location from the drop-down menu and farmer's markets in the category field. Then click Find Local Farms. 